Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about fifth problem from bank reconciliation statement topic. I am making this video for degree students. I am taking this question from Kalyani Publications. Authors, Jain and Narang. Let us see the question first. On 31st March 2021, your bank passbook showed a balance of 12,000 rupees to your credit. Before that date, you issued checks of 1600 rupees to your customers, but they have not presented them for payment. You had also received a check for 320 rupees, which although entered by you in the bank column of the cash book, was omitted to be paid into bank. On 31st March, a check of 500 received by you was paid into the bank, but the same was omitted to be entered into the cash book. There was a credit of 170 rupees for interest on current account and a debit of 20 rupees for bank charges. Drop a reconciliation statement showing adjustment between your cash book and bank passbook. This is the question. Let us see the solution for this. On 31st March 2021, your bank passbook showed a balance of 12,000 rupees to your credit. Means as per passbook, there is a credit balance of 12,000. As per passbook credit balance means favorable bank balance. Means our firm is having money in the bank, 12,000 rupees. This is bank reconciliation statement. Bank reconciliation statement as on 31st March 2021. So favorable bank balance as per passbook is given in the question now. Write down that amount in outer column. What are the columns? Particulars, amount, amount. To that amount, in question he has given some reasons for disagreement. Some reasons we have to add, some reasons we have to subtract. Then we should calculate bank balance as per cash. For that, remember these rules. Firm prepares cash book. Bank prepares passbook. If there is any transaction between firm and bank, firm records in cash book, bank records in passbook. If any amount is debited in cash book, it will be credited in passbook. If any amount is credited in cash book, it will be debited in passbook. And for favorable balance, what are the rules? Because of a transaction, if our firm's bank balance is increasing, in cash book it will be debited, in passbook it will be credited. Because of a transaction, if a firm's bank balance decreases, in cash book it will be credited and in passbook it will be debited. So by remembering these rules, we will solve this problem. Before that day, you issued checks of 1600 to your customer but they have not presented them for payment. Before that date means before this 31st March 2021. Firm issued checks to customers. Firm assumes that they go to bank, they take the money, our bank balance decreases. With us cash book is there, decrease means which side, credit side. Firm credited 1600 rupees in cash book. In cash book credited means, in passbook it should be debited. But what happened? They didn't go to bank. They didn't present a check. Means nothing is debited in passbook. So, there is a difference. Now, which book balance is given in the question? Passbook. Therefore, our assumption is, adjust passbook as per cash book. As per cash book, bank balance is decreasing. We should also decrease. Means we should debit 1600 rupees in passbook. This is our answer. If answer comes as a decrease, we have to subtract. If answer comes as an increase, we have to add. You may get one doubt. That is, they have not presented the check now. So without taking money, why we are decreasing in passbook? It is not correct. Actually, this we should cancel. So even though customers are not taking the money, we unnecessarily decreased in cash book. Now this we should cancel. Instead of doing that, why in passbook also we are decreasing? Why same mistake we are doing in passbook also? See, BRS concept always you have to keep in mind. While preparing BRS, my aim is passbook balance is given in the question. 
I want bank balance as per cash book. If I want to get a bank balance as per cash book, whatever they did in cash book, like that we have to do in pass book. Whether they recorded that amount in cash book correctly or wrongly, it doesn't matter. So what they are doing, we should also do like that. Therefore, even though bank balance is not decreasing, in passbook we are decreasing 1600 rupees. So what to write here? We issued checks but not presented. Write down that sentence. Checks issued but not presented. Amount in inner column. Checks issued but not presented 1600 rupees. Next point. You had also received a check for 320 rupees which although entered by you in the bank column of the cash book was omitted to be paid into bank. We have a check worth 320 rupees. We want to deposit that check into bank. If you deposit that check into bank, bank collects that money. That amount will be deposited in our account. Our bank balance increases. Increase means in cash book we side, debit side, debit side bank column. So they recorded here, cash book, triple column cash book, debit side bank column, they recorded 320 rupees. But they forgot to send that check into bank. They forgot to deposit that check into bank. Then no money was collected by the bank now. Here debited means, then it should be credited. But nothing was credited. Because we have not deposited the check into bank. Now, which book balance is given in the question? Passbook balance. So what is the rule? Adjust passbook as per cash book. As per cash book, bank balance is increased by 320. In passbook, we should also increase bank balance. Means 320 we should credit in passbook. Increase means add so to 12,000 rupees, you have to add that amount. What sentence we have to write here? We debited in cash book, but not deposited into bank. Check debited in cash book, but not deposited into bank. 320 rupees in outer column. Next point. On 31st March, a check of 500 received by you was paid into bank, but the same was omitted to be entered into the cash book. On 31st March, we deposited a check into bank. So we think that bank balance increases because bank collects that money. It will be deposited in our account. Then bank balance increases as per possible. So we also increase in cash book. Cash book increase means we said David said actually we supposed to write 500 rupees here, but Bank doesn't collect that money on the same day, no? so it will be collected in next month. They may collect that money, but up to this date only we should observe. So up to this date, nothing was credited in passbook by bankers. And we forgot to record that in cash book also. Means debit said we have not recorded, credit said they have not recorded. Means. This 500 is not a reason for disagreement. So this 500 we need not to consider while preparing BRS. So which amounts we have to consider in BRS preparation? If any amount is recorded in one book and not recorded in another book, then we should consider that point. Otherwise, if any amount is recorded correctly in one book, wrongly in another book, that point also we should consider while preparing BRS. But this amount, 500 rupees, not recorded in these two books, then it is not a reason for disagreement. So if any amount is properly recorded in two books or not recorded in these two books, then that amount we need not to consider while preparing BRS. So this 500 simply we can ignore while preparing BRS. Next point, there was a credit of 170 rupees for interest on current account and a debit of 20 rupees for bank charges. Two amounts are given. First one, there was a credit of 170 for interest on current account. This point we see. Firm maintains current account now. On current account, generally bank doesn't offer any interest. But in few cases, bank allows 
interest on current accounts. This is favorable bank balance, means interest bank pays to us. So how they pay? We have our account in the bank now. In that account they deposit. Means first who knows about this? Bank people. When they deposit interest, bank balance increases. Increase as per passbook means which side? Credit side. In passbook, they credited 170 rupees. In passbook credit means, in cash book it should be debited, but not recorded in cash book. In need not to give that point. Always we should keep in mind. In one book recorded means, in another book not recorded. Passbook balance is given in the question. Therefore, passbook should be adjusted as per cash book. As per cash book, bank balance is constant, but we increased. Now, that we should cancel. How to cancel? If you decrease it again, then these two amounts will get cancelled. Decrease as per passbook means debit side now. 170 we should decrease. This is our answer. Then these two amounts will get cancelled. Finally, as per passbook also bank balance is constant. Decrease means subtract. Interest created in passbook only 170 rupees in inner column. Last point. A debit of 20 rupees for bank charges. Bank is offering so many services to us, not at free of cost. From our account, time to time, they did it some amount towards bank charges. First of all, who knows about this? Bank, because they are only deducting. When they did it that amount, bank balance decreases now. In passbook, decrease means debit side. Debit side 20 rupees they recorded. In passbook, debited means in cash book it should be created. But you know, in one book recorded means in another book not recorded. Now, passbook balance is given in the question now. Adjust passbook as per cash book. As per passbook, balance is decreased, but cash book balance is constant. Now, here this amount we should cancel. How to cancel? By increasing. Increase means credit side. Credit 20 rupees in passbook. This is our answer. Then these two amounts will get cancelled. As per passbook also, bank balance is constant now. Increase means add. Second point. Bank charges debited in passbook only 20 rupees. All amounts are completed. Finally, add these three amounts. 1340. Add these two amounts and write down the total here. 1770. From 12,340, we have to subtract 1,770. 10,570. For this, what to write here? Favorable bank balance as per cash book. Favorable bank balance as per cash book, 10,570. So, in question, he has given favorable bank balance as per passbook. We ascertained favorable bank balance as per cash book. Why we wrote favorable? We got a plus value. This amount is more than this amount. Therefore, plus value is coming. If plus value comes, favorable. If minus value comes, means if, if this amount is less than this amount, then minus value comes now. In that case, what to write? Overdraft bank balance as per cash book. So this is all about fifth problem. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.